Hey students, welcome to EE Awesome. I'm Rudy Schlaf, a professor at the Electrical Engineering Department at USF. In today's video I want to show you how to make a binary counter with the Arduino and a few LEDs. Let's do it! Here's my digital counter that I built. Uh, I connected 8 LEDs um, with current limiting resistors to one digital pin each. And so you see here I connected pins 2 through uh, 9 and they basically control now my least significant bit through my most significant bit of this byte. Let's have a quick look about this uh, uh, terminology. So here a byte that is 8 bits and the most unimportant bit, the least significant bit that is called LSB and the most significant bit is the MSB. So this here has a value of 1 when it's set and this here is the uh, bit that has a value of 128 when it is set. So all bits on we get a total number of 255 in this byte. If we make an integer then we use two bytes. So this is what when you use the type definition int that's what you get. You get a two byte number and here now, of course, because we have two bytes, we need again some way to specify which one is the one that is responsible for the small part of the number and which one is the more important bit, uh, byte that controls the, um, the uh, larger end of this, of this number. And so here we again call it MSB and LSB because bits and bytes both start with B. It's a little bit unfortunate, so the convention is to use capital letters for the byte and small letters for the uh, bits. Okay, so this is out of the way. So let's have a, a brief look at the uh, circuit diagram. I'm using Fritzing. That's a nice software package for um, documenting breadboard setups. So what we have here is um, each LED is hooked up with the current limiting uh, resistor to one of the digital pins. So the digital pin provides 5 volts that turns the LED on and the current returns into the ground rail and so all the ground connections are then connected together into the uh, ground of the Arduino board. So each of the digital pins controls one of the LEDs. This here is the least significant one and this here is the most significant one. Okay, let's have a look at the Arduino sketch. So I'm starting out with a comment that's really important. If you want to remember after half a year or so what your sketch is all about, you will be very grateful that you wrote yourself a comment. And it's really nice to give some hints how the uh, breadboard setup is put together. So I'm writing here that the anodes of 8 LEDs are connected to digital pins 2 to 9, etc. I also put a reference to the Arduino reference page in there. This is a great place to go if you ever get confused about how to use a particular command or if you need to find what commands are there, right? If you have a certain need and you want to figure out how to uh, do that in your program. Let's go there real quick and have a look. So here's the Arduino homepage, arduino.cc and we go here to learning and then reference. And so here we are. And so you see we have basically one entry per Arduino command. So in this sketch today we're using for the first time the for uh, statement. And the for statement that allows us to make a loop. So um, when we write for then we start out by defining a variable. So we have a type definition in this uh, example integer. Uh, and we uh, initialize it with a start value. So this is uh, the value at which x starts, x starts in this loop. And then we have the test condition. This is up to what value of x this loop will run. So we say here x needs to be smaller than 100. So it will run from, 99, from 0 to 99. And here we give the increment. So in this case we simply say each loop uh, run, each, each time we go through the loop we count this up by 1 but you could also write here x equals x plus 5. So then it would go 0, 5 and so forth. Okay and then we can have some statements that use this variable and uh, here in this case we simply print it uh, on a printer. Okay, so this is the Arduino reference and it's very useful to go there if you ever need to um, figure out the syntax. In fact, they always have a copy-pastable part where you can just take it and uh, pop it into your sketch, so very helpful. 
Okay, let's go back to the Arduino sketch and um, I start out here with, uh, with defining a, a byte variable. So this is our counter for the digital counter. So here this byte type def just means we get one byte uh, uh, as a variable. So this is perfect to run here our one byte counter. So in the, in the setup, uh, I start a serial uh, communication and then I use this uh, for loop and I count the variable i from 2 to 9. So I say go from 2 until i is smaller than 10 and increment i by 1. Plus plus is just a short form for i equals i plus 1. And then I define the pin mode of i as output and I write a low into that particular pin. So all pins are outputs and all pins are off essentially after we are done with this for loop. Okay, then in the main loop, we do another for loop. And here we count from zero to seven, right? So we go from bit zero to bit seven in our counter. And then we check whether the particular bit in this counter is a one or a zero. And so for this, we use the if else statement. That's another new statement. Here, uh, so we, this is a conditional. So we say, if it's one, then we do this. Or if it's not one, then we do this here. So if it's one, then we write high into the corresponding pin. Since we're starting from pin two to pin nine, because we should never use zero and one if we can avoid it on the Arduino, uh, we need to uh, add this offset here that we, that we have for pin for bit zero, we use pin two, right? You get the idea. Okay, so the, these bits we turn either on or off. And so you see that the counter number now is expressed as a binary number on these eight LEDs. So this is what this for loop does uh, together with that if else um, uh, conditional. Then we wait for 100 milliseconds. That's important because the Arduino is so fast that the counter would run too quick that we couldn't see it with the bare eye. We'd need a high speed camera or something like that. So we delay here a little. And then we count the counter up by one plus plus, just a short form for counter equals counter plus one. And then finally we print the counter to the serial port in a, as a, decimal number and then also as a binary number. So I write here a string to the uh, a serial monitor as binary number and then I print it again as a binary number. And so you see here also this is something new again. If you use comma uh, a format in the print command then you can specify for numbers whether you want them as a decimal, as a binary or as a hexadecimal number. So you could also write here hex and then it would print it as a hexadecimal number some fun thing to try. Okay, and then we go back here uh, uh, and, uh, and evaluate the counter again, reset the number on the uh, uh, output, and then counter, counter up again, print it and so forth. And so this is how this goes. So the next step now is see how this works. So let me plug this in. And I already uploaded it before I uh, recorded this video. So you see here now, it's basically counting up. And this here is the least significant bit. So every time we count one uh, up, it goes on and off, on and off, on and off. And this is the slowest one. So this means we just uh, crossed the 128 and now we're filling it up again. And you see that once all the LEDs are on, so it reset itself, it, the counter lapsed at zero because it's only a byte. So when you use this uh, uh, counter plus plus at 255, it actually goes back to zero. Okay, this is it. This is what I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it and um, uh, go to eeawesome.com and uh, check out our other videos. Uh, they help you get started with the Arduino. Thanks for watching.